Welcome back to ESA Winter 21. A lot of you were kindly donating for a bonus game to be run, so we are now ready for Robo Sparkle to show us Harlequin Any% percent Credits Warp. Whenever you're ready, take it away. Alright, thanks very much. Uh, this is going to be a very fast game. Uh, actually, I uh, didn't plan it this way, but very appropriate for Valentine's Day because there's tons of hearts. Um, this is Harlequin. It is one of my favourite platformers for the Amiga. It's got some absolutely stellar music and some absolutely god-awful sound effects, which is why um, the game only allows you to play either the music or the sound effects. Guess which one's the default? Alright, we're going to go. Um, I'm going to give you a quick countdown. Uh, it is going to be in three, two, one, go. All right, so ostensibly the game is uh, an eight-way uh, scrolling platformer. It's kind of Metroidvania-y in that you have to uh, solve puzzles in one area. Uh, by solving puzzles, I mean flipping switches in order to open uh, other areas. Um, this is in order to find the four pieces of Chimerica's broken heart and bring it back together. Chimerica is the place in which we are right now. It is a world of imagination. It is born out of a child's imagination. The children grow up. That child was Harlequin. And he's returned many years later and monsters have taken over. Everything's terrible. Gotta save the broken-hearted land of Chimerica. Alright, so the first level, just kind of need to go up there, flip that switch, which will open the inside of the clock tower and allow me to go into the clockworks. Um, you know, it's just taking a whole lot of damage and not really giving a crap about it. Um, and that's because we need to do a death warp because uh, in order to get out of the clockworks you have to do this whole big size thingy jumping up so I need to take a bit more damage and that's fine that's almost the perfect amount of damage so I just need to run down here I flipped a couple of switches get the space hopper uh, most of, it's, it's basically what enables, enables us to do a credits warp and then die and dying takes you right back to the start in order normally to get back to the start they have to flip switches all over the place so uh, what I did there is I flipped one switch which op which creates a platform that allows me to finish ascending the clock tower. Um, and get the umbrella as well. This is optional, but it's kind of useful. Oh yeah, and I'm shooting hearts out of something. My chest, obviously. Um, <clears throat> happy Valentine's Day! So Space Hopper is very, very useful. It makes you briefly invincible. It... Um, means you don't uh, like delay when you're bouncing up um, and you can just jump very quickly and you can get more jump height and this is the important fact that's what the umbrella is for is just to enable us to skip a platform cycle and we are off and now because this is a speed run um, that will last about three minutes obviously we have to have an auto scroller all right, so I'm going to very skillfully just avoid everything here. <sighs> oh, man, all this video gaming is hard. So I need a break. Whew. This is technically RNG because you can get one of four different flights of fantasy, but they're all basically the same. Just take the kite by down. Um, and here we go. And this is what the space hopper is for. Space hopper allows us to jump up a bit higher than we normally would be able to. Oh, and then I just need to fall off the edge here. There we go. Uh, and I'm now out of bounds. Um, this game, if you go out of bounds, it's like, oh, time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgot to count down that. Wow. But, um, yeah, it just kind of allows you out of bounds. And if you can get out of bounds in this game, which is actually not that uh, not that easy. On emulator, uh, you can press left and right, uh, and that allows you to glitch into slopes. But if you go out of bounds anywhere in this game, there's like tons and tons of exits, and many of them take you to glitch levels. Uh, back to the beginning of the level, and that particular one takes you to the end credits. And you can fall into it from above, but there's like three exits around it, so you kind of have to <laughs> navigate your way around it. But this is the good ending. Um, so yeah, game completed. Probably just over three minutes, because I started and ended the timer. Uh, started early and ended late, but how was the time? Uh, exactly three minutes, actually. Oh, so. perfect! <laughs> time that there long. There we go. Um, so yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful game. It's you kind of what you kind of go through it, and it gets a bit dark because it talks. It's um, all kind of based on the child's imagination. Um, there's a sewer level, which of course there is because uh, video games. I don't know how that comes in the child's imagination, but the sewer level is not actually the worst level in the game. The worst level in the game is the Alice in Wonderland level somehow. Um, 
but yeah, you get like there's like a circus, and you get to jump into a video game, and there's like a a, a learning channel level, and it's all loads of fun and very cutesy. And then there's also a funeral parlor and heaven and hell. So it gets super dark when you sort of think about it. Um, but yeah, super fun game. Um, just kind of wrecked it. This is a glitch that was found um, about a month after the game released, I think. Um, it was published in Amiga Power. So this has been a speedrun that's been possible since the n early 90s. Um, <laughs> but there you go. Uh, it wasn't until a few years ago that I started doing it. Uh, bad ending? Uh, there is a... Oh yeah, oh yeah if you, there was a bad ending, um, which just kind of... You've, you've failed to get all the hearts, basically, and it's game over. It's kind of... Anyway, that was the that was the run. I uh, hope you enjoyed the the rest of the marathon. We've got some awesome ZX Spectrum stuff coming up next, which I'm sure um, Talia will be able to tell you about. I sure can. Uh, so I just want to read one quick donation first as well before we move on, because we did get five dollars while you were doing this from Junko Enoshima Puhulu, and he says, "I'm putting this towards naming Magikarp Swim Shady for Soul Silver." Because if you know the run and what Gyarados is capable of, you'd see that this koi is spitting. Much love, you say. I've been enjoying helping it with donations, and I look forward to the group effort to pull this show off. Let's -a go. Swim shady. I like that. Swim shady. It's oh, it's great. Yeah. I really love that. It's good. It's good. I'm always a fan of good pun. But yeah, as Robert mentioned, we do have a lot of other cool things coming up as well. Next, we will have Ruffled Bricks running Yazzie. So if that's something you enjoy, you should stick around for that. Uh, but we will be taking a quick intermission to set up for that. So in the meantime, make sure to stretch your legs and get something to drink, and we will be right back. Oh, who do? I'm, I'm out of tea. Thanks, guys.